Alright ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is man. If you like the video, like the video. Subscribe for more daily 2K content and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, Mike Wong has been mucking around with the shot stick. It's not the same as it used to be. It's a different shot stick, different methods, different ways to yield the results that you're going to want. But even though it's different, this is actually better for us and it's way better for me and I'm going to tell you why right after this. This is the best shot stick tutorial that you're going to get pretty much after the patch. So if you used to know how to use it and you don't know how to use it now, I'm gonna teach you how to use it, especially if you watched my previous video. If you didn't watch my previous video, go back and watch it. Link is up in the description. I got the camera up there and it, um, and it tells you how you want to move the stick. But I'm gonna tell you about that in a second. And uh, let's get this video to a thousand likes so people can see it. It can get recommended. YouTube directly links a video's visibility to the likes. So if y'all don't like it, nobody's gonna see it and they won't know how to shoot with the shot stick the way that you guys want. We want the, we want the gym star and the shot stick game to grow exponentially. So let's get that done and uh, I'm gonna be right at y'all right after this. Nito! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pockets, that shit made me upset. Start hustling non-stop, don't plan on breaking that head. All right, so shot stick game. This is a way to use the shot stick after the first patch. Now, after the first patch, you rarely are ever going to see the shot stick be right in the middle anymore. It used to be right in the middle. Now it's just not like that. Uh, the way that you control where it's going to appear is actually very simple. If I wanted to be on the left, I pull the stick down slow and uh, slowly, and it'll be there. If I want it to be on the right, I'll pull it down quickly, and it'll be there. Uh, that's really it. The The difference between quickly and slowly, it really, it really depends. Like, pretty much, I'm gonna tell you, quickly is, if you can, if you pull it down and you hear it, uh, you hear the, the thumbstick hit this bottom and it makes that thumping sound, that's pretty much quick. If it's, if you don't hear it snap, then that's pretty much slow. And uh, you can see the middle, I don't know, bro, I have no clue. Like the middle is just so random. I'm gonna tweet Mike Wong and ask him what it is that makes it come up straight in the middle because I have no, I've got no clue, man. I like, it just happens and when it happens, it throws you off so badly, but uh, it'll be very, it'll be few and far between with that. So what you want to do, decide which way you like to rotate the stick first. And when you're rotating the stick, you want to keep the stick, two things. Keep the stick in between uh, seven and uh, five o'clock. So six o'clock is straight down. You wanna keep the stick, when you're rotating, you're gonna be rotating between between five and seven. I have another video up. If you if you haven't watched that already and you're not familiar with how far you need to do it, and you gotta make, make sure you maintain contact with the bottom and just roll it slightly along the bottom. Don't go all the way to the left, all the way to the right, because if you do that, this is gonna happen. All the way, you know, if you go too far too fast, that's what's gonna happen. So don't don't do that because you see what I'm saying? That's what's gonna happen if you if you try to chase the thing. To keep yourself from chasing it, like I said, decide the way that you like to shoot the ball first. Do you like to go right or do you like to go left? I I, I know Mike watched my stream and my videos because I was saying one day, hey, you know what? I really like going right. I don't like having to go left. If I could go right every time, I'm sure I could shoot a better percentage. And, you know, like I said, I suck. I suck at going left. I really would rather never do that. And so now you can do it, you can control it. If you, you come down, come down slowly, it's gonna be on the left. I'll say it again, come down slowly, it'll be on the left. But I prefer to go right. So come down quickly, it's on the right. It's like he was listening to me and he knew that I always like to come down quick and uh, pause and uh, you know, go right. So that's what I'm doing. Come down quickly and go right. The more that you do it, the more you will be able to, you'll be able to get the muscle memory going and uh, you'll be able to hit really most of your shots. Uh, the main thing with this is the first mechanic, hold the stick, never let go. Hold it down, never let it go. And if you're able to, like I, I don't know, 
what makes it come up in the middle. Like I said, we're going to tweet him and find it out. Hold it, never let it go. Try to get it where you need it to be. Once you're, once you're very comfortable with, especially if you're a spot up, once you're very comfortable with getting it there and lining it up and holding it down and stuff like that, like you see, I can just, I can shoot this ball all day. Once you get very comfortable with that, then you're ready for step two, which is you want to pull the trigger at the optimal time for you to let the ball go. Like right here, when the ball, when he, when he um, does his hand like that, when his hand goes flat, that's when I do it. It's the same thing with my with my regular jump shot. So it's, you want it to have the timing of your regular jump shot, and you already know that timing. You've got that mentally, you know what I'm saying? You got that mentally locked in. So you know that timing on your regular jump shot. So really what you want to do, pull down, and when you normally would be letting go, you uh, you pull the left trigger. The, the only thing with that is, if you don't have steady hands, when you pull that left trigger or the right trigger, the ball, like the, the meter has a potential to slide or something a little bit. So that's why I say, wait till you familiarize yourself with this process first. And like I said, I have no clue what makes it go is that. At Me Bro Show had a very good, a uh, very good um, suggestion also. And he said, make just go ahead. It's what we call your eye line. Change your eye line when you shoot the ball. Like some people are used to looking at their feet uh, some people are used to looking at their hands. I always looked at my hands anyway. So this was a natural transition for me. It's here, check hands, and then I shoot. So you see what I'm saying? Check meter, check hands, shoot. And you can do that every single time. Meter, hands, shoot. It's gonna be green a lot of the time, but this is an advanced maneuver. And like, if it's white, then you can still hit it if you hit the optimal time. But for me, I'm able to pull it down. Okay, see, like, I I, I don't know. I, I have no clue why that came up in the middle. Maybe, let's see something right quick. If you if you come at an angle, maybe, or? I, I have no clue what makes it come up in the middle. But if it comes up in the middle, and you just got to try to chase it and be like meter hands or <laughs> whatever. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm doing this, pulling the stick down, wait till his hand go flat, and then I'm pulling the trigger. And I'm able to look at two things at once and see even when it's white, you got a, you have an excellent chance for it to go in because you got the timing right. So it's just like my boy Gambit says, you got two chances to get a green, more or less. And if you can get it right, more often than not, you're gonna hit these shots and you're not gonna, oh, I must've pulled it. It, it thought I pulled it down slow right there. Um, more often than not, you're gonna hit it and you don't have anything to worry about. And like I said, if you can do it, I pull it down fast every time, it's gonna come up right there every time. If I put it down slow, it's gonna come down slow. But the big thing is, once you're used to it, you can get your timing right. And once you get your timing right, you'll be able to pull the trigger along with it and you'll be good to go. The main thing, like I said, just concentrate on getting it in the middle first. Like right here, I'm not even, all I'm doing is aiming. I'm not, I'm not, uh, like right there, I didn't, I didn't click the trigger. Right here, I'm gonna do it right here. Like that was slow, so it came up, it came down right there. The closer that you are to the center, when you pull it down, the better it'll be. So like right here, I'm gonna come down slow and you see how close that was? But then when I come down fast, I'm. you see that's really, really close. And what this will do is if you're a center, especially it opens up the places on the floor where you can shoot the ball, man. Like, like I, I was a horrendous shooter from the top. I couldn't do it. Like even like it was always hard for me to to see my hands at the top. So if you're one of those guys like I was, you don't even have to worry about that anymore. This is a mechanic that's more difficult to master. Uh, obviously, as anything is more difficult to master than just pressing the button. But it's more difficult to master, but it's way more rewarding because you feel like if I miss that shot, I missed it. You don't feel like you're no longer feeling like, hey, I'm like I got screwed by the game or something like that. And uh, like I said, man, so choose. I'm about to ask you, Bixby. Like, if you know what you're doing, and once you get used to this, you see how I'm just pulling that down almost every time? You can take it to another level. I'll tell y'all the secret level that you can take it to in another video, man. But like I said, get this video to a 1,000 likes. And once you get comfortable enough with this, I'm going to tell you what level you can take, your, uh, take it to next. And man, you can be, bro, you can be money. Especially when you get used to doing this right here and you know that you're pulling it down, straight down. Like I said, I, I don't know about that, why that happens. 
But once you get once you get enough of this practice in, you're gonna be good to go. Like I said, man, shot stick gang in the building. I've had people, uh, I had one of my guys I was playing with today, his name was Apache. And um, yo, he tried to, he saw me hitting with it and he tried to use them like, bro, don't try to use the shot stick in the middle of the game. Go ahead and go to my video and then you'll learn how to, you know, you can learn how to do it there. But if you're having issues with sliding the stick from right to left, go watch the video that I did on it. The link is in the description. It's on one of these cards somewhere. Go watch that video. That's going to help you out tremendously. And then the next thing, like I said, start out, figure out which side you have the least trouble chasing. If you, if you have the least trouble chasing left, pull it down slow. If you have the least trouble chasing right, pull it down fast. I have the least trouble chasing right, boom. And then after that, master getting it lined up. Once you've mastered getting it lined up, then it's time to be able to look at your hands as well as the stick. And boom, you're gonna be in business. You're gonna hardly ever miss, man. I'm telling you. If you got a low shooter rating, the shot stick is the way to go. Somebody tell Po Boy C to shoot with this thing, man. That's my dog, man. I wanna see him, I wanna see him shoot a high shooter rating. Like he already, he well, he found him a jump shot, so he already shooting a high rate. But if you're a guard or something like that, I got Brute on this, and Brute is hitting. Like he's hitting high 60s now because he decided to use the stick, man. So make sure y'all check it out. Especially if you're a guard and you're having trouble shooting, this gives you way more control. Boom, boom. Like, it's, it's, it's just way more control, man. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Instagram. I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. And uh, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Let me hit one more. Why does it come up in the middle? God speak. <laughs> All right, I'm hitting this one. Big greens, and I'm out. In commence, it don't make cash and it don't make sense. Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion. So in that sense, I never value your two cents. Hey, darn, please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn, cause I ain't buying. I'm only 5'8, that's fine, nigga. I can give a hard transplant to a giant, I ain't lying, God speak. God speak, God speak, God speak. We good.